Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwes and this is our sixth video in C++ programming language. In this video we are going to talk about the switch statement in C++. So switch statement is used when we have multiple conditions and we need to perform different action based on the condition. For example, if we have a different conditions and we want to execute a block of code based on the certain condition so in that case we need to use switch statement even though we can handle this these kind of scenarios using else if statement but it's a good idea if you have multiple conditions uh, you need you can use switch statement so now let me just show you the practical example of uh, using switch so uh, I'm going to just make this example based on the user input. So I'm going to just create a variable of type character and I'm going to call it grade. After this I'm going to get the user uh, input and based on that I'm going to create my switch statement. So uh, let me just say please uh, enter uh, your grade. and let me just end line and I'm going to get the user input and I want to store that input in my grade variable that I have created so I'm going to just see in and create like this okay now after this we are going to just create our switch statement so let me just say switch and uh, let me just uh, uh, switch okay now in here you need to uh, we are going to add our grade and after that we are going to add our cases so for example if uh, our we have case a so for example if the user enter a we are going to just see out So if the user enter, for example, case A, we are going to execute this statement. So we are going to just say that C out, and I'm going to just say, for example, uh, excellent. And let me just end line. And also you need to break the statement, okay, like this. Now, this was our case A. Now in the case B, so let me just add my case B in here. Okay, so in the case B, it means that if the user enter B, so if the user enter B, I'm going to just, see, let me just uh, copy this and paste it in here. C out, I'm going to say that very good, okay? And uh, let me just copy this because I'm going to add more, uh, some more uh, cases so now in the case uh, for example C if the user enters C uh, I'm going to just say good uh, for example let me just remove this and I want to say good and in the case D let me just add one more uh, let me just add this make this D and in this case I'm going to just say you are passed so you were passed and in the case E, I'm going to just say, uh, for example, you are failed. You are failed. Okay. So now uh, let me just describe this code. And here I have created a variable of type character. And I'm going to get the input from the user and store that in my create variable. After that, I'm going to check the cases. So if this if the user enter A, I want to say that excellent. I want to break. After that, if the user enter B, I'm going to say very good. And like this, I want to use my uh, five cases in here. So now if I run this code, now let me just run this. Okay, now if I enter A in here, you can see that I am receiving excellent. Now let me just run it again. For example, if a user entered D, it's receiving that you are paused. 
now if I enter another one for example E you're failed now uh, so it's working there is no problem but also we need to handle default cases for example if I enter for example aim so we are not receiving anything we need to handle these kind of uh, cases so for that you need to add default we need to add a default case in here so let me just uh, Okay, now in the default case, I'm going to just say that invalid grade. Okay, so now if I run this, okay, now if I enter, for example, uh, uh, A, so there is no problem, I'm receiving excellent. Now if I run it again, and if I enter, for example, N, you can see that we have handled the default and we are receiving invalid grade. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.